I will say the last few weeks have been depressed. Make a very difficult prospect. Less than a month we are into the year 2012. With this new year ushered in a very dangerous economic prospect with the euro constantly on the brink of collapse. Or actually the euro would be uh, what I call beyond rescue common currency. And as such, EU so-called solidarity reform may not be able to save the EU from what was two, three years ago. And I am afraid national interest, national sovereignty would be a very divisive element if Europe could not stick together, push through with a demanding reform, it had little future. But on the other hand, most people while recognizing this long-term goal may not be willing or able to deliver the sacrifice required of a limited national sovereignty on budget economic affairs in order to fit the so-called new EU rules that the British have where they much oppose and absent itself. So it is at the end, national interest versus so-called European collective interest. And it would be nice if all the major items on the collective interest coincide with your more individual countries' interests. But this is not to be the case in the real world situation. So I am not optimistic that there is something called the United States of Europe that would be just one country but deliver its sounds in different vocabulary and different pronunciation. I am afraid Europe would need a lot of effort and patience to learn about each other and to sort out the problem inside Europe. The China is being a very tolerant, very pluralistic economic powerhouse would welcome European engagement. And European engagement could go individual countries as well as the collective EU system. So Professor, you are saying that the better is to maintain the, the efforts of cooperation, of intergovernmental cooperation rather than uh, a federal Europe is more like an utopia. You just couldn't get it in a short generation or two that people would forsake each country's so-called heritage or uniqueness. Second, how could one talk about a unity of purpose and whatever when you already have 27 countries about in a couple of years' time, and beat Croatia. Beautiful country, but still bad one. And so there are problems in the Europe that is over-integrated. Then is there a new European language, as much as there is a common currency? Would it be French or English or German? So there are lots of problems that the European concept would need time to sort out and this may only be a preliminary case that will damage the real crisis may yet to unfold. And I'm not asking you to be off guard, but while on guard to protect against domestic for our and all that, that is the helping hand from a really prosperous China that you must make the decision to embrace it, to shake the hand, to make use of the opportunity. So you are saying that the over-integration may lead to crisis or in the European history war? Europe as it is 
the EU had very diverse economic social condition between the European two layers of members. One is the EU song and one is the non-EU common currency members, like the British, the Danes, the Swiss. They did not use Euro, but they are member of the EU. So you do have two layers of mechanism and organization that need a lot of social change reform, and I'm afraid time is running out. So does it mean that it's better to stay in an intergovernmental cooperation among the European Union or a federal United States of Europe? I think the federal system is too far-fetched, too uncomfortable for anyone to seriously contemplate in the short term. Not in the next generation do I see a Europe that is tightly integrated as the Europe provinces or stay in one single sovereign country. That would not come to it and it may not be the original ideal people like Monet, the so-called French architect for the EU. So in some sense, facilitate economic union, common standard on many things, may be good, but it's not necessarily the best way for Portugal or for any, to lose its own identity and color and flavor to be just a nondescript standard, if there's such a thing at all, EU member.